How's it going, everybody? 757 US Airways is here again. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an airport update. Um, you can see I got the kind of the T hang, not T hanger, the T uh, terminal out because this is really going to be the airport for now on. Because again, uh, like I said before, I moved to a new house in New Jersey. Um, my parents moved. When did they move? It was it, sometime in April. Yeah, it was April. They late April they moved out of the old house into the new one. So this is in my room, so it's actually a lot better lighting in here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I so far I really, really like the house because I got back to New Jersey on Saturday, which was, sorry, it was the 22nd. Yeah, it was the 22nd. We got back because my dad and my brother uh, flew out to Grand Forks and we drove back. Um, it was a 1500 mile drive it took about 23 hours um, stopped in South Bend for the first night and then um, made a drive from 8 a.m. to about 6 p.m. from South Bend to New Jersey um, yeah I mean I again like I really like the house um, it's got some pretty good views of um, some stuff landing in Philadelphia um, they're about on flight rider 24 over the house I live under the approach path of runway 35 now um, for Philadelphia Airport and they're about 1500 over the over the house now so it's pretty cool seeing the only thing that stinks is a lot of them are just CRJs and not ERJs but um, not on like the Airbuses anymore but um, if the winds are high enough from 350 um, they'll land them on runway 35 but that's alright um, at least I still get to see some airplanes flying over the house because I always enjoy just sitting outside sometimes, just uh, just watching the planes fly over. But uh, let's kind of get started here. Um, there's a couple new models in this update. Um, two of them, well, two of them you've seen, two of them you haven't because one actually just came in today because I bought it for my birthday which was last week um see so yeah, it officially a, a real man now since it's 21 now it's kind of weird thinking that now but um yeah, that was two weeks ago actually it was birthday geez I forget when my birthday was but um yeah I bought that this one plane for it so yeah you'll probably see it when you when I get to it because it's a little of an odd plane but why not um, another thing is all of these planes in here are international. Um, I wanted just a strictly international um, update. So yeah, let's start off back here with the KLM 8330 300 about to push back for Amsterdam. We have a WestJet 737 800 in the Walt Disney Library heading out to Winnipeg. A Lufthansa A340 300 Star Lines heading out to Frankfurt. A Heinen. Uh, 787-9, he's going to head out to Beijing. A Condor, uh, 767-300, will be uh, going to Munich. A Thomas Cook, A330-200, he's going to be making his way out to uh, Manchester. Qatar Airways, 777-300 ER. We're going to Doha. Port Sherry's 777 200 ER. Heading out to London Heathrow. I'm going to skip this spot. Um, actually, I'm sure you can probably see it now from that one. But next up is it. Make sure it's focus. Emirates E380. Heading out to Dubai. Next up is a Virgin Atlantic 747 400. Heading out to London. And he's going to head to London. No, London Gatwick for this guy as well. Um, this is a new model, the Virgin Australia, triple seven three hundred ER. Um, we're going to say he's doing. He's going to do a one-stop service in Los Angeles. Um, then he's going to head down to Sydney. And again, I kind of have this revolved around um, like a Southern Florida kind of airport. Um, so we'll just say this is the an international side of the airport. So. Again, he's going to go to Los Angeles, then do a flight out to, um, uh, 
species. Sydney. So it's kind of like what Qantas does with the Sydney to LA to JFK kind of service. This is a new model as well. This hasn't been seen yet on the channel. Um, a Caribbean Airlines 737-800. This is made by Phoenix. And he's going to be heading out to Port of Spain. Get another view of him on the side. Next up is the Iceland Air 757 200 and the Heckle Aurora. He'll be going out to Reykjavik. Near Canada, 8 through 21, just arrived from Toronto. In Iberia, 8 through 43, 600, sorry, will be going out to uh, Madrid. Azul, 8 through 3200, will be going out to Capinas. This is a newer model, you got a review of it, but um, hasn't been in an update yet. Uh, Air Lingus 757 200 going out to Dublin. I know that. 7.5s and probably can't make that flight, but I want to just feature it in this video, so here it is. Don't really care. Now, your Valaris A321 will be getting out to uh, Guadalajara. And now, finally, for the last model, it is a new one I just got from FedEx today. It's kind of a different one the Ukraine International Airlines 777 200 ER. Um, the main reason why I actually bought this plane was because of the fact that I got really big into the HBO uh, show Chernobyl. It's like a five episode miniseries kind of thing. And after, I mean, the game. So I kind of give you a backstory over really why I wanted to watch it. Um, well, I wanted to watch it anyway. But Game of Thrones, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Um, season 8 was okay. It wasn't really the greatest, but I mean, I'm still a Game of Thrones fan. I mean, and I really enjoyed it. But it wasn't like the best season. And then everybody kind of said, oh, HBO released Chernobyl because it was bad. But Chernobyl honestly was a lot better than season 8 of Game of Thrones. But again, I got it because of Chernobyl, really, because again, I got really into it. But this Ukraine International Airlines 777-200ER. He's going to go down to Kiev. So, I believe it's the capital of Ukraine. But, I mean, honestly, if I'm going to be completely honest, this is probably the best 777 model I have. This thing's incredible looking. Um, I feel like it's definitely a, a sleeper model that no one really knows about. Because it's just, it's just really nice. But, um... Yeah, um, I can show you. Uh, well, actually, it's a lot better now, knowing that like this is in my room, and I have all of my mo other models kind of in here. So we have the Americans up there, U.S. Airways, a lot of international. No, not really. There's just uh, Virgin, JetBlue, Frontier Spirit, Air Jamaica. There's another new model. Well, kind of new model, but you all seen that silver. And then you have the British Airways. Uh, a couple of internationals in there, Southwest, China Southern, Finnair. Finnair is the one I forgot to put in here, and China Southern. Well, that will be in the next update. Um, then you got some Deltas, um, United, um, and then a couple other international stuff. I've got to fix that bleed jar real quick. This door sticks. That's the only thing I hate to say about this cabinet. So, so yeah, that's going to probably wrap it up for this video. Um, again, I really enjoyed um, how this came out again. And I really enjoy having those two new planes, those, that Ukraine and the Caribbean. Um, really nice models. If you can find them, I highly recommend you pick them up. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, really nothing else to really talk about. So... Uh, stay tuned for those two reviews coming out soon. So yeah, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.